Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas and I'm going to do just a traveling dirty cup pour and then um, maybe some swipes along the sides. We'll just see how it goes. And let's go over my paints. My base coat today is just going to be the uh, Blick Titanium White. My other colors I'm using are Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents, the Real Pretty Ruby. And my next color is, again, the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents, Harbor Sky. Real pretty grayish blue color. And my next color is, again, Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents, and this is the uh, Real Pewter. My next color is Copper Penny from the rust -Oleum Metallic Accents line. Really, really a pretty copper color. My next color is DecoArt Metallics, and this is the Deep Sapphire. And my last color I'm using is uh, a color that I made up that is close to the um, paint that used to be called Mysterious. And I'll show you that color. And it's actually made up of four different paints, and I will have that in the, my description, how I made that up. And that is the uh, consistency there. It just leaves a little trace. Hope you can see that, and then disappears. My pouring medium today for all my colored paints is the mix, seven-part mix to one-part paint. And I added about a squirt of water to each of those paints. My base coat, the Blick uh, Titanium White, I did use Floetrol, Squirt of GAC 800, and the Liquitex um, Gloss Medium with that. So what I'm going to do is uh, turn the camera off, get my base coat down, and I'm going to just fill one little cup here. Fill my cup with paints. I'll bring you back, and then we'll get started painting. Okay, hey everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat of my Blix Titanium White down. I filled my cup. Let me show you the cup here. And I just filled it from the side down. I got two layers of every color, and I did add a little bit of the white in there. So let's get pouring, and I'm just going to be pouring it down the middle here. I have something under my canvas right now, but I will be lifting that up. This is actually just a small version of something that I want to do on a larger canvas. And I just want to see how it turns out. Okay, I think I will give that a little bit of a torch. I'm going to do a little bit of tipping side to side here. I'm sorry. Yeah, side to side. Just going to bring that down a little bit 
and a little bit over here. And it looks like I may have quite a bit of paint on here already, so I probably will not be doing any lines um, to do a swipe, but I will be doing a swipe on the paint that is on the canvas. Very, very pretty results already. And I think that's from the mix. Tilting it down towards this end here. And I'll bring it back. See if I have enough paint to get over this corner here. The paint is moving, but it's moving slow, which is good. Now I know that I don't have too much paint on here. And I will bring that back. First, I'll fix the corner here. And I'll get this corner, this last corner over here. I may leave some negative space there on this one corner because I think it's very pretty. Okay, let's see how that goes. I'm going to finish this corner here with my finger. See if I can get it to go over. Okay, that's pretty good there. Okay. Very, very pretty in here. Just put a little white here where I just left a little dab with my fingers. And I will run that down. Okay. Just cleaning off the bottom here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some swipes and my swipe color is uh, Amsterdam Titanium White. Um, the ratio is three tablespoons of Floetrol, one teaspoon of the Amsterdam Titanium White, and I added six drops of the um, Minwax Wood Conditioner. And what I have is just some little plastic strips that I um, cut up here and this is just all for practice but I'm going to just put them through like that see what I get I'm getting um, a lot of cells there I 
been watching a lot of Jilly Cube lately, and she's been doing a lot of these swipes. Just gives the painting another dimension. And I'm turning my card on the side like that to make my stripe go very thin. I didn't really care for this area of the painting, so this is really bringing out some extra character to that part of it. This part I really do love. Very pretty. I'm just going to take the side of the card here and just bring some of this paint down here. Just for some added effect. Take one more and then I'll be done here. Maybe one more right here. That's that will look good. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of tipping here. See if I can move, get the paints to move at all. They are moving, but just slowly. And I did not mention I didn't use any silicone today in my in my paints. Okay. I do like that. That's very pretty. And I'm going to give it a torch. See what we bring up. I really do all like all the lacing effect I got here. And I think orientation wise, it would go this way. Gonna clean the bottom off here quick with my finger.
Okay. And now I think I'll get you down for a close up. Okay, everybody, we're coming down now for our close up. And what I did off camera is I took a look at this painting and I just thought I needed to make it a little bit more cohesive one side to the other. So what I did is I tipped it quite a bit. And by doing that, I let some of those lines run off the end of the painting. And you can see. And it, it just really brought it all together. And I'm glad I did that. So let's go down here for the close-up. This is the upper left-hand corner where I left the negative space. Just going down the left-hand side here. This is the lower left-hand corner. And then I'll take you up the middle. Really pretty in here. You can see that lacing I got. And this is very pretty in here. It's probably my favorite spot of the whole painting. Just you can see all the different layers that the mix allows the paint to come through. Very pretty. And here's the upper right hand corner. You can see all that really pretty lacing there. It did add quite a nice dimension to this painting. And down the right hand side. Really pretty lacing here. And then this is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it. Make sure you ring the bell. Choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And subscribe if you would. That would really help my channel out. It would help me to grow. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.